What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at Chicken today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. EA just revealed the new AKA cards they're going to be dropping tomorrow afternoon and they're kind of game changers. I want to talk about why you should pick them up and also how to get one for free. We got some other news to cover as well, but let's go over these reveals first. No Fly Zone, Denver Broncos Steam Teamers are going to be happy about these two cards. We start off with 98 overall, Akib Talib. I think he's six foot two, six foot one, so he's got good height there. 98 stock speed, 97 jumping, agility, the zone coverage is at 97, the man is at 98, 99 press coverage. He gives you great attributes, but pay attention to what's on the actual card art here. He has a baked-in secure tackler. He also has universal coverage, which is great to get knockouts, and being that it's an AKA card, it's likely going to start on for six plays, go away for a few plays, and then come back. With that as an X factor, you can play him in a man coverage or a zone coverage scheme, and we'll have to see what other ability discounts he gets whether it's going to be a deep zone ko or a deep route ko they did make him a man-to-man -man archetype but let's get back to that zero ap baked in secure tackler this is extremely important because we just got the Eric Dickerson card. People are rocking either NFL 100 or angry runs on him. Bo Jackson combine running back is incredibly cheap and very easy to get activated with angry runs. Even the Emmett Smith AKA card. Secure Tackler is going to be the number one neutralizer. That and Tackle Supreme to try to stop these running backs and getting this ability for free, not taking up one of the discounted ability buckets on cornerbacks who are the less likely guys to make a good tackle. This is really, really clutch. So he can cover obviously, but now you add that in, it's going to make him more valuable. And the other card is going to be Chris Harris Jr. who is also going to get that. Now they gave him the slot archetype, but it looks like he has one step ahead. Built in is his X factor, which is a really good man coverage ability or X factor, I should say. In this case, nine 98 speed on this card, 98 man, 99 zone. Press is a little bit low at 94. I think he's 5'11". I know he's on the shorter side, but I think this makes a really good slot defender, and he also has that zero AP baked in secure tackler. That's going to be really clutch when people try to run on the outside if he's already kind of there. So these two cards are both cards that I might have to add to the team just for that zero AP secure tackler, and it almost seems intentional that EA did this, so I'll be curious to see if we see on more defensive cards, specifically defensive backs, start to get this baked in. This or Tackle Supreme. The LTD is going to be Jamal Adams, the Prez here, so he's got Avalanche as his baked in X-Factor, and the ability is going to be persistent, so I don't know if that's going to keep Avalanche in the zone longer than a normal AKA X-Factor. We'll have to wait and see. I think this card's going to be much better of a sub-linebacker, but he got 99 stock speed, obviously a 99 overall, with that gold up there in the upper right. 99 zone, 99 hit power, 90 man cover and it's funny because we went so many weeks without a good strong safety upgrade a lot of people were still out there using Jair Brown or Kyle Hamilton if they could afford it and now over the last four days if you count tomorrow in that equation we got Troy Palomalu, Rodney Harrison yesterday and now Jamal Adams but I, I want to see what abilities he gets if he gets a zone knockout ability he'll definitely be okay to play you know high safety coverage but I do think he's better fit as a sub linebacker of course his content will be dropping in game tomorrow about 1 30 p.m eastern time that's when we'll be able to see all of the discounted ability buckets and of course I'll have a video covering all of that information now don't forget with these new aka cards if you haven't completed all the solos or redeemed your tokens you could potentially get chris harris or akib talib for free so when you go through the aka solos each week we're going to get a new sequence or more solos will get added into an existing sequence and every time you knock out these solos you're going to earn milestone stars there's a lot of them to play if you're not up to date on these you're going to be grinding for a very long time you can see i've definitely been procrastinating but if you're no money spent this is going to be the only way to get these aka cruise tokens and as of last Monday, there were enough free tokens in the game to redeem because you need 30 of them. Redeem them for a free champion of your choice. This excludes the LTDs, of course. But those two cards, I talked about why they're so good. These solos might be worth grinding tomorrow to get them or tonight to be ready to get them tomorrow. Me personally, on this account and my No Money Spent account, I am probably going to wait until we jump up to 99 overalls and I'll talk about when we're going to get there in a moment. But one more time, I just wanted to point that out. If you haven't played 
trade through these, you do have an opportunity to get either of those set cards that drop tomorrow for free. I do want to give you a quick reminder. Today is the last day. We have a Madden Live weekend yesterday and today. You can tune into anybody live streaming Madden 24 on Twitch. And if you watch up to these durations here, you can earn free packs. 30 minutes, 2 hours, and 4 hours, you get Twitch packs, standard packs. One hour, you're going to get a Pro Max Fantasy pack. In three hours, you get a Ring of Honor pack. So try to tune in today if you haven't done it yesterday. I should be live streaming at some point later this evening, probably around 6, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, come through and hang out. We'll be using some of the newest cards in game so you guys can see that in action and also listen to the best playlists on Twitch and come get your free packs. Hopefully you get something good out of it. But this does end at midnight Eastern time. So it's your final chance to redeem these. Let's talk about what's upcoming this week more than likely and also what's going on in Mutt. Just a quick update that's not really an update regarding the John Madden Welcome Pack. I know a lot of you still have never received that and probably still haven't gotten it. Hopefully tomorrow, I mean, I didn't expect anything to happen on Saturday or Sunday, but hopefully tomorrow they start to send out make rights for that. And I think it also goes hand in hand with the Golden Ticket Opportunity Pack. If you didn't receive this, you'll probably get this eventually as well, but this is going to open up on Tuesday evening about 7 30 p.m. Eastern time and it's going to be your shot your one shot at getting a golden ticket most of you will not get this one percent of you probably less than one percent of you watching this video maybe will get lucky and if you do you get to create a golden ticket if not it's just going to be a coin quick sell but that's something to look forward to and we just went over the aka cards notice that they're 98 overalls as far as the set cards go 99 overall LTDs don't forget we got season six on the way this Wednesday season Season five is coming to an end, so you got you know a couple more days to try to finish this out, or at least at bare minimum get to level 47, which is going to give you that XP collectible that gives you a jump star on season six. But I really don't think we're going to see 99 overall champions and LTDs until potentially Thursday. Now Wednesday we'll get the brand new season. I'm sure when they put out the content schedule tomorrow, there's going to be a special stream probably Tuesday night revealing all of that, so we can see what free players we're going to get, what free packs what free everything right uh, also curious to see if it's going to be the last field pass season field pass of the year and we will still have a new competitive pass upcoming in about a week and a half they usually kind of go hand in hand the same week not this time around for whatever reason but the content schedule this week is likely going to look like this tomorrow obviously aka's we should get a reveal on tuesday for the season six field pass and then on wednesday the season six field pass will be going live and i wouldn't be surprised if that Wednesday when we get the weekly wild card content drop as well if that stays at 98 overall champions and 99 overall LTDs now Thursday that's usually when a bigger promo comes out and that's usually when we see the turnover for new overalls and the mystery pack going up and everything kind of follows suit after that it feels like because the draft is I believe next week we're going to get part one of the NFL draft promo they usually do a draft pass which is like players who are already in the NFL who got drafted early on sometimes they do guys who got picked later in later rounds and ended up turning around and having a good career like a Tom Brady I don't know if we'll see him get a card in the game but this could be a good promo for it. that and Super Bowl are usually the two opportunities but we should see NFL draft pass this Thursday and I think that's when we see 99 overall champions and 99 overall LTDs and then the following week we're going to get the NFL draft present which is usually going to feature the new lead draftees that get drafted into the NFL you know Caleb Williams will likely be the number one pick so he's going to get a 99 overall and all of that will be confirmed tomorrow when they put out that content schedule and again of course I'll, I'll be dropping a video going over it uh just one other kind of mini update with the ring of honor you know this promo or this field pass was a really quick one to complete i know a lot of people and i covered this in a video on friday are potentially holding out on not grinding through this field pass thinking that the season xp in this field pass will go towards season six once wednesday comes around and i'm not 100 percent sure that's going to be allowed or be the case i think they're going to change these xp rewards into coins but you know if you don't have a lot of coins and you don't really care about grinding the season five field pass or you already did grind the season five field pass this could be a potential way to get coins off of this. I don't know what that amount would be that they change it to, but I definitely don't think that 
it's going to convert over to season six field pass XP, but it is a very, very easy field pass to complete. I knocked it out, I think in like 24 hours and I didn't even do uh, all of the head to head wins. I have them all done now because of last night, but I got this done without even touching those. And uh, one of the big things in this promo is the ring of honor token right now. The only way to get one and the only one available is going to be in the solo challenges, which don't take too long. We put out a card review on the Michael Vick card. I think it's best spent on either Vic Dickerson or Troy Palomalu, Troy Palomalu. And I put out a video on that the other day on the best cards to use it on and the best discounted abilities and X factors to use it, uh, use with it. Um, but earning this token, again, only going to be found in solo challenges. I would not be surprised if tomorrow when pack offers come out along with the new AKA content, we see some type of $50 or $25 bundle in the game that gives you some Ring of Honor content. But the main draw from it is going to be a Ring of Honor champion token. So we'll pay attention to that tomorrow. But that's all I got for you now. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.